Rugby is a massive thing of Cornwall, uh, and obviously you've got the local, all the local sides here. Every every single side has a mini a mini team, a mini and juniors. So if you always want to see people coming, uh, kids, adults just playing for the sake of just playing for rugby because they love playing, uh, no no money in it, no no anything, and just the pure enjoyment of it. It's de definitely every single club here have those have those players and. Uh, and that's, that's the best thing to watch. I love coming down here and just going into, into the Penzance Newland uh, Pirates Rugby Club there and just, and just watching the amateurs play against another team because they're not doing it for, for anything else than just, just pure enjoyment of the game and they love playing with each other. Um, so, and it's, it's also quite funny to watch, uh, watch them playing their drinking games in the bar after. So. No, is it? Rugby is a game for all. And I know Stuart and all, they, they love the fact that we all come from different, different areas. If you're thinking about England, obviously you're thinking about London, you're thinking about all the, the, the big cities and, uh, and things that we've got here. You'd never, you'd never really think this is a part of England down here because it, it it's a long, long, long uh, way away. But it is, it's, it's obviously everyone's got a different story and different looks, like you said. But uh, yeah, we are, we're trying to make one thing uh, when we're playing. The big thing why I play rugby is because I never thought of ever playing it for a job. I thought. The big thing about rugby was that I'm playing with my best mates and playing on the field, playing a game that I love playing uh, with a great bunch of boys as well. So I've, I've always said that all the way through. That it, for me, I don't really treat it as a job. Now I've obviously got to say it is a job, but it's still something that I love. I love playing and uh, I just love doing. So uh, yeah, but then to, to make it all the way to England again is, is, is a new challenge for me. And obviously, same for me. It was obviously a massive dream for me when I was younger, but. It never really happens to anyone really from here, um, unless you're big with a big beard and big hands. <laughs> so uh, uh, no, I've I, I loved doing it, and again, I'm, I'm meeting new people all the time. I'm, I'm playing with a new bunch of friends, uh, and we're we're all, all trying to achieve the same thing when we're out on the field. So it's, it's a great thing. Everyone takes the mick out of me a lot about my hair and, and my stuff, but uh, no, yeah, Graham Roundtree likes to uh, likes to give me a little bit of a warning every single time I walk into the gym or anything, or I'm close to the forwards that he wants to, to shave my head and cut my rat's tail off. So. Uh, I, I tend to avoid him when I'm around the training camps and things like that. But uh, no, it's all. I also get a bit of banter about it. But I think that's the whole part of part of rugby is uh, not not everybody's the same. Uh, so yeah, in a way, I enjoy it. it. Makes me want to grow it longer. Being a fisherman, I think you're, you're surrounded by tatties all the time. With all of my families, they're all in the, they're all in the fishing trade and stuff. Too, so they used to make a big thing about used to come and get tattoos. Uh, so I've grown up around it and. And yeah, I've always, my, my dad has had his tattoo, so it's a Japanese type style tattoo. Uh, and I've always always said that I'm gonna get the exact same one as you when I'm older. So uh, now obviously I grew up a bit and, and didn't get the same same sort of style, but I'm really good friends with my tattooist in Exeter. Uh, so we, we do have a bit of fun down there, seeing what we can work out, see if we can get a, a couple of funny ideas or a couple of nice ideas to, to get on you. Generations and generations of our family, they, that's all they've done is fishing. So I'm actually the first person to have not gone fishing in our family. So. Uh, but they're very supportive of what I'm, what I'm doing now. They love, love, love the fact that they're not out at sea all the time because you can come to watch more of our games, uh, especially my two, two younger brothers as well. They, lo they love playing. Uh, so yeah, but if it, if it was for me not playing rugby, I yeah, honestly I couldn't tell you what I'd, what I'd be doing. Probably, yeah, maybe out fishing with my dad or yeah, going to college and things. It was, was, I n never dreamed about playing rugby. Uh, my diet is, is very good, so obviously, uh, so obviously you've got to be good with what we do. Uh, but yeah, when you're in your Cornish, everybody loves a good, obviously a Cornish pasty, and that's what we're all known for. But yeah, funny story is uh, for my uh, 22nd birthday, my, well, my favourite Cornish pasty is a steak and gravy, a steak and gravy pasty. So I, uh, I absolutely love them. So uh, my mum thought it was a good idea for for her to uh, they bought me 20 odd Cornish steak and gravy frozen pasties from the local, and they uh, drove it to Exeter for me. And I was like, they got up here quite quick, to be honest. And I was like, well, why have you, uh, why have you gotten up here so quick today? And she ran straight to the freezer and put them in the freezer because she didn't want them to defrost me. She says, oh, there's your, one of your birthday presents. I've got new 20 Cornish pasties. So uh, obviously I've not had any yet because uh, we're in strict training and things, but uh, I'm looking forward to enjoying a couple. <laughs> England, I think have only won one Six Nations in the last 12 years.